So, good morning children, welcome to this uh, English uh, uh, program. Today, we are going to discuss a very, very important chapter of grammar that is subject verb agreement. So, before going to discuss the formula, the techniques, the rules of grammar. So, we will read a very interesting paragraph, look at the screen and read the paragraph. Uh, study the following sentences. Narasimha Dev was a great king in Odisha. Konark temple which was built by him was one of his best monuments. It was built in 12 years from 12, uh, 1238 to 1250 AD. One of its ministers was in charge of its construction. There is a fort inside its campus. It has many flower plants. The flowers smell sweet. Many people visit this temple every day. So, dear students, once again I am going to read out the passage. The passage has eight sentences and you listen to me very carefully and also you look at the screen. Right. So, Narasimha Dev was a great king in Odisha. Konark temple which was built by him was one of his best monuments. It was built in 12 years from 1238 to 1250 AD. One of its ministers was in charge of its construction. There is a park inside its campus. It has many flower plants. The flowers smell sweet. Many people visit this temple every day. So, dear children, this is all about one of our greatest kings of Odisha. And the chapter that we are going to discuss today is very, very important for you, not for your examination, even throughout your life, whenever you will English, you will have to take care of this subject for agreement. There <coughs> are eight sentences in this passage and I have underlined some phrases in the sentences. These phrases are subjects of the sentences. So, each underlined phrase is the subject of the sentence and the red mark, the red colored words, they are the verbs and for the subjects, these verbs are used in these sentences. Right. So, Narasimha Dev was great king in Odisha. You see, you cannot use Narasimha Dev arm, you cannot use Narasimha Dev R. You have to use, you must use Narasimha Dev was a great king in Odisha. So, the subject you know in class 9, you have read, you have known, you have understood what is subject what is predicate, what are the verbs, what are the adjectives, adverbs, so and so. Right. There is an agreement. Uh, I can say the subject agrees with the verb. So, Narasimha Dev agrees with this verb was. It cannot agree with the verb is, uh, sorry, am or you can say uh, are or we are like this. Right. So, was is the singular form of the verb and Narasimha Dev is a proper noun, it is a name of a king, name of a person that is it is singular in form, this noun is singular noun, this is the verb is also singular verb. And if you write the verb are or where, then it will be plural form, that is why the singular form of the verb will agree with the singular form of the uh, subject. Right. Now, come to sentence number 2. Konar temple which was built by him was one of his best monuments. Right, you just see. Konark temple, which was built by him. So, in the middle, there is the underlined phrase Konark temple. In the middle, another clause is there, which was built by him, relative clause. But the subject agrees with the verb was. Konark temple was one of his best monuments. Konark temple, Tankar Chete Subhu Kirti Thilata Vidru best is it was a very good date 
it was uh, a very good achievement of Narasimha Dev, right. He was known as Langula Narasimha Dev, you know, you know Sivai Samantarai, he was the minister in his kingdom and the Konark temple was uh, the uh, construction of the Konark temple was under his charge. It was uh, uh, that minister, he actually, uh, he was the, he was in charge of that construction, right. So, it was built in 12 years, you know. So, it was, you cannot say it were, you cannot say it are, you have to see, uh, you have to use, you have to say it was, right. That is why it agrees, the subject it, the pronoun it agrees with was. So, it was. One of his ministers, you just see, one of his ministers, ministers is plural, but the verb is singular here, because one of his ministers. So, one of his ministers, this is the subject part, one is the actually the head noun, one agrees with the verb was. So, one was means one of his, there were so many ministers, one of his ministers was in charge of his, of its construction. Number 5. There is a park inside. Now, you can see if you visit or if you have visited, you might have seen. If you visit, you can see also. There is a very beautiful garden. A, it has many flower plants. So, there is, you just see, there is a park. So, here, there is the subject and a park is the real subject. So, we will discuss how there, what is there. There is anticipatory subject. This is dummy subject that takes the place of dummy. You cannot say a park is inside. We in English we use there is a park, there is a high school in our village, there are two temples in our village. So, there are two temples you just see. So, if the sentence begins with there, then what happens? The verb agree with the next noun phrase that is a park. A park is inside the, its campus. We will also discuss the principle. We will discuss the technique or the rule why it is like that, right. So, the, it is possible to use there is, it is also possible to use there are, but who which determines whether we should use is or whether we should use are. Then come to number 6, it has many flower plants. So, it is a singular that is the pronoun singular form. So, has is the singular verb, it has not it have, you cannot say they have you can say, but it has. The flower smell, you cannot say the flower smells, you can say the flower smells, a single flower that smells. So, this flower smells means the flowers that is the plural form of the noun flower and the verb plural form of the verb smell that agrees with the subject. Many people visit this temple every day. Many people you see, people that is plural in number, that is a collective noun, people, children, cattle, these are. So, in that case, we can use the verb plural form, we cannot say visits, so many people visits. So, this is what we say subject plus verb or subject verb agreement. So, there is an agreement, you cannot go beyond that agreement, you cannot change that agreement. If you change the agreement, if you change another, you can use another verb, then the sentence will be on grammatical, the sentence will be a wrong sentence, right. So, today we are going to discuss what are the techniques, what are the principles, how we can use the verbs with the subjects correctly and we can use grammatical sentences, correct sentences. Let us go to the next, you just see. So, what we discussed in an English sentence verb must agree with its subject in number and person. As you know person, we have three persons, first person I, second person you, third person he and I the singular, its plural is we, you know all these things you have read in class you class 9 and class 8. So, the in an English sentence, when we use, we speak a sentence in English language. When we write a sentence in English language, it is a subject, the subject, the subject of the sentence in number and portion that must agree with the number and portion of the verb, right. Number and of the verb, that means the verb may be 
singular or the verb may be plural. Its form depends on whether the subject is singular or plural in number. It also depends on whether the subject is the first, second or third person. Keeping the subject verb agreement in view, we choose the correct verb form after the subject. You just see there is a table here, look at the table subject I am. So, am agrees with the subject I, you cannot use is or are or was or were. We, you, they, the children, plural form, the verb is plural in form, right. So, I may the kiva jadi subject a kovachan hobo, verb a kovachan hobo, I pakre am jim tilaguj, he pakre e jim tilaguj, she pakre e jim tilaguj. Jadi plural form he jo, we, they, you, semane, pilamane, locomane, sikhok mane, right. Then the form of the verb also changes that becomes are or where like that, right. So, you look at this, the teacher and the students plural in form, both the things they are in one subject are. The parrot flies, the parrot is singular in form, right. The parrot flies in the sky, the parrots and other birds they fly in the sky, you just see. So, when the subject, the number of the subject is plural, the parrots and other birds, the plural in form and the uh, person is they. Ame Suaguriko ba Suaguriko ebu Poki manage the Bavargoria, Semanoko Pai, Ame Seman Bavargoria. The parrots and other birds means they, they fly. So, this is plural in form and the verb form is fly, not flies. Flies is the singular form, right. So, my dear children, this is what about how the number of the person, the number and portion of the subject, right, that actually determines the number of the verb, how the verb will agree with the subject. Let us go to the principles, we will see what are the rules, how can we use correctly the sentences. Study the following sentences, there are 15 teachers and 3 peons in our school, there is a library in your school, my dear children, when we write essays, this sentence, this structure is very simple structure. When we write some sentences about our school, about our village, about a person, about a place, sometimes about our school bag, my school bag, I have a school bag, there are 8 books in my bag. In that case, this type of sentences are used and it's, these are, you can write at least 15 to 20 sentences if you write an essay about your school, about your village, about your town, about uh, the playground, about any place, right. And at that time, when you are writing this type of sentences, actually what happens? The number of the phrase, the noun phrase, which is used after the verb, that actually agrees with the verb. There are 15 teachers and 3 peons. There, anticipatory but dummy subject, this is not real subject. The next item, the next phase, noun phrase, 15 teachers and 3 peons, 15 teachers and 3 peons, this is in plural form, that is why there are, there are 2, there are 4 rooms in our village, in our school, there are 15 family, 50 families in our village, there is a library, there is a temple in our school like this. So, verbs used after an introductory there have to agree with the noun or the real subject coming after him. So, the real subject is actually each or are their subject re ji asuchi kriya pore asuchi. So, seta that is the real subject a library 15 teachers and actually the verb the number of the verb depends on it, right. So, now you see it is or it was 10 past 12, it is or it was 2 miles to be to beach, it is or it was raining heavily. So, when the subject is it actually in that case specially to make a statement about time distance whether you see 10 past 12 it is it is 11 o'clock now it is 11 am now right it is raining now it is raining outside in that case actually singular verb is used is or was with it this is very actually uh, common so my dear children we discussed how, what is the agreement between the subject and the verb and also we 
uh, understood two principles when the sentence starts with there and what happens the verb is depends on the uh, subject the real subject which comes after it and in case of it usually the verbs are singular in form or we can use it or watch. Then we will discuss what are the next principles for using this uh, verbs. So, my dear children uh, let us go to the next technique this is number 2 right. In number 1 we discussed two things if the sentence begins with there then uh, the verb agrees with the noun phrase which comes after it and when the sentence begins with it usually the verbs are singular in form. Now, the second rule says you just look at the sentences the examples 50 kilometers is not a long distance in these days of rapid travel, 60 years is a long time, 2 kilos of tea costs 800 rupees, 5 rupees is not a big amount. So, my dear children you see 50 kilometers s is there, 60 years s is there, 2 kilos s is there, 5 rupees s is there, but the verbs are singular each is costs each. Right. So, what happens when we talk about the distance or time or weight or rupees or money like that. So, distance, time, weights, amounts of money represents a single figure of quality. Right. So, 60 years means 60 percent of a unit, Bahubachan Halevi is a singular in form. Right. So, 60 kilometers the Puri is 60 kilometers away from Bhubaneswar. I can say 60 kilometers is not a long distance nowadays, not R. We should not use like this. So, Monar Koy Gudak Subu Parikara Paduchi tomorrow entrance review Paduchi. Then Jetabula Ami Gota unit will have you when we think that this uh, uh, distance is one unit, that means 50 kilometers is only one unit. Go Tierasta, Pochas kilometer. 60 years ago, duration, 2 kilo, gotiye jini sir ojyon, 5 rupees, gotiye 1, 5 rupee, 5 rupees, gotiye jini sir. So, I am gotiye unit. When we think about this is only one unit, then it is treated as singular in form and it takes a singular verb. Let's go to the next. So, my dear students, you remember whenever we talk about time, weight, or money then we can use the singular verbs for one unit. Now, you see bread and water is my favorite breakfast, truth and honesty is the best policy, curry and rice was his favorite food. So, two things bread and water, but these two nouns they are joined by and and they are regarded as a single object single right. Gotiye jin sugam buche che satyata evo sadhuta is the best policy. Good tea is that is one quality bread and water that is taken together and one item curry and rice that is they, the two items are they are taken together and they actually uh, express only single object. In that case singular verbs bread and water is truth and honesty is curry and rice was like 5 rupees 60 kilometers is like this right. Let us go to the next one 3b pickle and his brother kupil have come so two right two persons and the verb is not has have the verb is plural in form right so pickle and his brother kupil they are two persons and have come two boys and three girls are writing their essays so many that's why when two singular or two plural subjects they are joined together, Pikul one, one proper name, Kupil another his brother's name and they are joined by aunt. Two boys plural in form, three girls plural in form. So, when two singular nouns they are joined or two plural nouns or more plural nouns they are joined together, they actually take the plural verb like Pikul and his brother Kupil have two boys and three girls are writing there. Yes, let us go to the next one, right. Mark the following sentences, very, very interesting. The jury, the members of the jury, 
that many judges they are taken together and they are in a one group and they are called the jury we are divided in their opinions, but they were divided in their opinions they are not in one je tole matamata tankar alga hai jibo in that case we can use actually what happens we can use singular verb je tole ekathi hebe singular verb when they are separate they are divided chete bole ame kon koriba plural form byabohar koriba the jury has selected its chairman so they have decided only one thing and in that case we can use has the committee was unanimous on this issue samaste ek thile single unit the committee we are divided so when we say the committee has decided this but the committee we are divided they did not take actually they have not taken this decision this is a nispati nei parunanti se tole plural form ei jauchi when they take a single decision they become single unit and singular verb so the committee when they are one was when they are divided different opinion uh, man different type of opinions then the verb is plural so a collective noun jury committee these are all collective noun a collective noun in the singular may take the verb in singular form and a singular whole individual members of the collective noun are consider the collective noun take a jetole when they are separated they are divided jetole se man alga alga hi jauchan jetole plural form nau chanti let's go to the next one right 4b the people of india are concerned about their spiritual welfare the palu tree have been fed the cattle are grazing the police have not made any arrests so mind your children you just see the people of india that means people this is actually uh, they are usually this verbs police people polluter cattle they take plural verb lokomani right polluter have not has cattle means all right kai guru sabu and the police when you just see the police when you use the before police that becomes plural in form if you write a policeman has so a policeman has but the policeman the police have means all the policemen right so people of india polluter cattle all these things they take actually plural form next so dear children his clothing is very attractive food is very necessary for living the furniture needs to be repaired the stationery is sold in this shop so clothing food furniture stationery cutlery crockery jewelry scenery all these things they actually take singular verbs so his clothing is very simple his clothing is very attractive his food is very simple the food right of the all the great men uh, is very simple the furniture furniture itself this is plural in form actually uncountable and that that takes actually singular form right so we discuss the five rules let's discuss the actually questions you just see my dear children what we discussed in the subject there are many girl students in class x in our school sonali and her sister are you just see many girl students there are r is used many girl students that the real subject sonali and her sister r that means two sonali and her sister good at study three years from three years from class 8 to 10 was a very short period three years as we say 60 years right ame jaha so discuss kale ei panch ta ko niyam ei sat ta ko sentence ra achi rice and curry single unit is their favorite food they are clothing i have already told you clothing right food ya pai so ame singular logeba clothing is very simple the children like them very much so children that is plural in form and the verb is plural not likes but like the children like the school committee has decided so i have already told you when the committee decides something then that takes the singular verb when they are different in opinion that takes the plural form right so let's go to the exercise exercise 1 there is are plenty of job opportunities reading and then we'll discuss for the people of this region there was or were plenty of room for improvement in her work 2 plus 2 is or r 4 2 twos is or r 4 let's go to 
70 kilometers are or is a long distance, fish and chips is or are not so expensive as chicken curry and rice. I, a crowd has or have gathered in the street, the assembly was or were divided on this issue, the police is or are chasing the burglar, her clothing is or as waterproof, right. You just look at the answers. There are plenty of job opportunities, plenty of job job opportunities, fewer in form, so are. There was plenty of room, plenty of room means scope for improvement. 2 plus 2 is 4, actually 2 plus 3 are modhya hochi pile, so the American English, re, British English, re, 2 hochi, ajikali dita gochi. 2 twos are 4, right. So, 70 kilometers as we have discussed, one unit is. Fish and chips, one item that is each. A crowd have gathered fewer in form. The assembly were divided on this issue, actually all the members. The police, I have already told you, police packer the illegally say fewer form of the police are. And the last one, her clothing is waterproof. So, this is all about exercise 1. All the sentences we have discussed. My dear students, you do all these sentences or this exercise at home as your homework. I think you understand these five rules, five principles of subject verb agreement. Thank you very much.